Welcome to One Petite Street. <clears throat> Today we're going to be making the fifth uh, bookcase, or they call it a cabinet, but it's a bookcase. And uh, so we're going to be working on that. And before we get to that, of course, I want to do those standard things and ask you to uh, subscribe and ask you to like uh, the program if you do. And uh, if you want to get in contact with me, of course, you can do that down below. Um, and also, you can um, uh, reach me at onepetitestreet at gmail.com. So, I want to say to you also, uh, I guess there's a bell. I'm not clear on all that stuff, so I'd invite you also to, to check that. So, whenever my... Um, programs come up it will alert you so today we're going to be making the book uh, the short bookcase that's in the front um, of our picture and um, let's get at it let's do it so here we have um, the fifth bookshelf or bookcase according to the um, directions and I'm not even sure we're going to be using this bookcase but we're going to build it just in case we want to and so we're going to get started with that it's um, a little bit different bookcase as you can see it uh, uh, sits low let me show it in maybe this picture which is right here that's the bookcase that we're working on so let's get right to it so one of the things I did this time uh, in putting together the uh, uh, when I did the kitchen we were always searching for uh, the parts and that so I decided this time what I would do is find them all and put them in some plastic bags ready to assemble. So our book uh, shelf cabinet thing, we have all the parts ready to assemble. And uh, I'm going to... Um, kind of lay those out uh, so that we can pick them up individually and and put them together as we go so uh, I'll just do that off camera we'll be back in a minute so we have our pieces now um, laid out and the first thing we're going to do is to put together the the main part of it which is right here we're going to put these together and basically just take a little glue and make sure we glue things in the right direction but we'll put the glue on just a little glue on on each one of these and then we're going to put this in here right here and pop it on there this one and uh, pop it on there we have one side of it uh, where we have that that glued then we're going to take and turn it around and we're going to glue the other side on just a little bit of glue on it it will hold very snugly then um, so then we'll pop this in these are very uh, easy to follow instructions because of the way they they put things together hopefully <laughs> And uh, just 
slide these on here. and pop them in place. And that's the main part of it. So rather than have you watch me struggle with that, um, I turned the camera off and now it's back on. And this is nice because if it were a real bookshelf, the nice thing is that there's just a little bit of a slant by each one towards the middle. And now we're going to take the different pieces that go in these different slots which I think they're all the same size in that and we'll glue those in and then we'll be back oh Oops. so now we have our um, fifth bookcase and it um, It's one of the center pieces in the picture, uh, right here. And um, as I say, we're going to have a desk, but maybe we can kind of find a place where we can have this bookcase in there. I don't know. We'll see what we can do. Um, after all, they have a lot of clutter in here and that. But that's the bookcase we've built and so uh, number five is finished well I hope you enjoyed the program today it wasn't very long we just got right into the to the building of uh, this bookcase that I'm not sure whether I'll use it or not uh, but it's a nice little bookcase. Maybe I can use it someplace else. Maybe as a, a shelf for toys for one of the kids in the large dollhouse. But there we go. And um, just thank you for, for tuning in. As I say, this is number 101. And uh, uh, I've just enjoyed doing it over the years. I haven't been a fireball at it. But... Uh, I really enjoy the fact that folks take the time to, to watch my videos. Um, just thank you very much. And I always like to maybe close with something, uh, maybe a bit of wisdom or, uh, and that is um, if you have traditions, hold on to them. Uh, you know, we live in a world today where people want to destroy other people's tradition for some reason. But whatever your faith tradition or whether your traditions in your family or the traditions of your town, city, nation, hold on to them because they're more valuable than, than gold or silver or diamonds. Uh, it's who we are. So until next time, uh, be good to one another. <laughs>